Hello YouTube, it's me Garn Fan, and today I am uh, doing the Lowest Cup series. And surprisingly it dropped a lot of between now and, well, practice and the race. Because uh, I remember that uh, during the practice it was going like, pr like 40, so. Anyway, uh, uh, we, uh, I will be doing the, um, well, pretty much where everybody started for once. Anyway, so Kyle Matthews will start on pole. Uh, uh, Kev Shearer will start, uh, second. Charles Stanford will start third. Jordan Diesel will start fourth. Our uh, Skull Tricks will start fifth. Kelly Lee will start sixth. Uh, Zachary Fitzwire will start seventh. And James Qualls will start eighth. Eli Bright will start our uh, ninth. And Scott Roush will start tenth. Um, Brian Fox will start eleventh. And Cole Deaver will start start twelfth. Uh, Jonathan King will start thirteenth. And Joshua Osborne will start fourteenth. And Trevor Germain will start fifteenth. And Jay Jefferson, 16th. Sebastian Torres, uh, 17th. And Doge Wow, 18th. And Black Reaper, 19th. And JT Han Hanley, uh, 20th. And TJ Hanley, 21st. Ethan deals to tw uh, 29th. Wait, why did I say 29th? I meant 22nd. Uh, I don't even know where I got the 9 from. Brad Stover, 23rd. And then my drivers are being James Henry, is 24th. Uh, and then myself, I start dead last. And I severely underestimated how long it would take me to do that. Uh, so, yeah. I am just going to accelerate to do it. Uh, and I have absolutely no idea. Hold on as I try to decrease the lag. Oh. Oops. Um, can I edit? Okay, um... Wow, that actually made it worse, if at all. Uh, so, anyway, this time, this is like attempt two at, uh, uh, Bristol, and they're gonna wreck again, aren't they? Uh, I think I need to actually tone down the resolution again. In um, like 32 bit or so. Oh, uh, so yeah. However, I do have a pretty big resolution. Like it's ta it takes up about half my screen. Uh, my screen is like I think uh, 1,016. Uh, sorry, 1,600 uh, times 900. Uh, if that makes sense to any of you guys. Uh, like, I know, it makes sense to me, but I'm not sure. But, do you guys, I'm not sure. I also did go and lower the AI strength so that they hopefully don't make as stupid mistakes this time. Um, already seems to be working. I mean, hey, we're at lap 5 and we have had a wreck. Uh, I mean, seriously. I think that five was about the record la or amount for green flag for a green flag run in the last race. Uh, I do have caution flags on, right? Yeah, yellow flags are on. Um, so. So yeah, you can't say like, "Hey, yellow flags are are off," and that's why you you did bad. 
It's like, no, they were on, they just didn't. It's just that nobody did anything this time. Uh. Kyle Matthews uh, seems to be able. Seems to be keeping Charles Sanford uh, at bay quite nicely there. Uh, Charles Sanford's biggest competition is also not not very big in the field. Wow, Kyle, wow. Uh, I am surprised that Charles Sanford is having so much trouble trying to get past Kyle Matthews. He's right on that bumper, but hasn't been able to make the move. Kyle Matthews... And running that li line uh, has been running and passed pretty nicely. Uh, it's going to take a lot for Charles Sanford to actually get by Kyle Matthews. Uh, uh, and alright, this is shaping up to be a better race than last race. Charles Sanford again is peaking. However, Kyle Matthews... He still is unable to get by Kyle Matthews. Kyle Matthews seems to be ru running a l tad slower, but just been, but he's just been able to run that li line a whole lot better than what Charles ha has, and that seemed to be be the key difference in this race. Just a matter of how much can it be. Uh. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, that. Uh, frankly, I am finding this as uh, already pretty great. Uh, and after this race, I definitely will be doing testing with the ready to hopefully get a better frame rate for our races. Cause I know it's not a set settings thing because I have pretty much the lowest settings it's a lot more how many cars are at, on the track at what time and then how it's also a matter of who's where er, um yeah uh that's gonna be an interesting thing uh uh, and frankly, with how this race has gone, I don't care what happens in the final few few races. Well, for, final few part of the race. This is the race I'm keeping. Because <laughs> uh, of nothing else, it was a lot better than the last attempt. Because seriously, the last attempt, it was like, okay, they're wrecking again. Yay! They did another freaking stupid mistake. Uh, and I would say one thing that they did. And, or at least, oh, but four. Literally, it was caution. Nah, I won't pit. Uh, three laps later, no caution. Uh, well, caution's out. Well, ca green flag is out. I was just, just like, okay, I, I'll pit now. I don't mind that I just w that we were just under caution. I will go go and pit and lose a whole lot more laps than would have been if I just pitted under freaking caution. And so, literally, due to that, only like four people were even in contention, and and those four people weren't even uh, not all four of those people were on the lead lap. Only three of them were. So that. Literally, the AI is being so freaking stupid. Literally made it so that only three people did it. In fact, they did so many crashes as that, like, like tenth was thirteen freaking laps down and still running. It was like, what? Uh. If it was not for the fact, I saw it myself. I would not believe that that was a race. Uh, or that that was even possible for this. Uh, if you guys want to, I, I can upload the race on like a Monday or something. And 
just so you guys can see how bad a race it was. Uh, in fact, I will probably have it down in the description. And if I remember to, the first five minutes of that race, and that pretty much defined how bad the race was. As uh, wow, come Charles has just not been able to do do well. It seems like Charles Samper and Kyle Matthews are the cars to be. I mean, like. Uh, nobody's been able to get close to it. To him. However, lap cars will probably go and hold a factor. Uh, I don't know why, but I keep wanting to call the 42 to Jordan Diesel, even though that I know that's Kyle Matthews. Though, to be fair, Jordan was in the 42 last season, so. Um, lap cars should be coming around, around here soon. Uh, yeah, lap cars are not that far behind. Well, the leaders are not far behind the lap cars. Uh, so... They could pose a problem for Kyle Matthews and, and Charles Sanford. Well, one lap cars, it's like, Ha ha! Uh, I don't care. Er, you can stay back here for all I care. Er, that's probably what Charles Sanford's reaction to, to is, uh, one of them is. Is. Though to be fair, that's probably like a lot of people's reactions. Because, uh, like, I uh, see dead last right now. That's the points leader who currently is, I think, 73 ahead. Uh, and with the last race, I literally, literally was just like, okay, if I'm keeping this. I'm just gonna do like as payment for whoever for whoever was able to survive. Is it's gonna be two times the lap or whatever amount of points they would get normally. Uh, whichever one was higher, that's what we've given out. So for the pe people who got down, well got to it, they're hating this race. As which I believe it was Kev Shear and Skoltrix who had got it. It was James Qualls and Kev Shear that got the... Well, that survived the entire race. Uh, so, as in, they would get 200 points at the end of this. Uh, so... Yeah. Um... Bit stuff should be coming into play here soon. Um, and the thing is, I think that that race was literally an hour just because of how mi much the thing was. Because I think that by this point in the race, we were at like... F even... And that's probably like giving something, so... Uh, yeah. Um. Uh, okay, so Kev Shear. So if you're we're wanting to base this off a of fast slab, Kev Shear would be a uh, pretty high up there. Uh. Uh. So yeah. Um. Uh, and no, I do not think that uh, deep fighting will help on this one, mainly because. As uh, like with with this one, I defried it earlier to so that I could hope to record shuffle, which apparently it kind of worked. It worked to the point where like yeah, I I could run it, just not if I have Steam um up. Like seriously, that game is like, uh, if I want to play the game, uh, I have to go to the scene folder, go to where it's located, click run, 
and then just play it that way. Because if I try to run and uh, like go to the Steam thing, like play, or go to the Steam look to the game launcher from that's on my desktop for it, it's like nope, sorry, you're not able to play this, even though I have played it. Uh, so pretty much what I will probably do is like after I finish recording it or something, pretty much just go go in and play on it. Well, play it on my laptop top for the achievements and quickly skim through everything. Um, that way I can just enter in everything. So yeah. I do also like how in Shuffle you actually, if you save it, you actually can see what heroin, well, what route you're actually on. Uh, so like you'll say if you're, if you're not on a route, it'll say if you're on, on like, eh, I don't know. I'll make up a name. It's like say uh, there's a route uh, in it, which by the way, there's nobody named Karen. Oh, and Kyle Matthews, for some reason, goes to the outside. Uh, that's going to cost Kyle Matthews a little bit, as now Charles Sanford has gotten into the lead. lead. Uh, that may show confidence out of Kyle Matthews, uh, though. Uh, but, like, if Karen was a root, uh, and, I, and I selected a choice that would get me onto her root, if I saved it, it would say root, like, Karen. Um, and Cola Deaver goes to, to the top line. And it's now going to be a little bit tricky to pa pass. Uh, 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 and Cola, sorry, Kyle Matthews seems to be lo losing Charles. And wait, are we under caution? I think I saw a yellow, but I'm not sure. No, I saw a green. Like, I just was seeing, like, the back of it, it or something. Um, and by the way, we're at, we're using, I'm using 90% AI as opposed to 110%. Because I figured they would crash less with 90 than 110. Or 100. Uh, so. And it seems like now, now due to lap cars, our Charles Sanford's just gonna run away, away with the lead, with the win here at Bristol. Uh, at least, unless pit stops have something to say about it. Uh, yeah, that are the lap cars. Our lap cars are big, very big makers here. Uh, and there goes Charles. Uh, Sebastian Torres will go down too. Uh, and Kyle Matthews. Uh, Fitzwater will stay out. Uh, it's a new leader, Zachary Fitzwater. Uh, Eli Bright seems to be uh, down. As well as Skulltrix, so. Oh, uh, Zachary Fitzwater will head down, down as well. Oh, uh, uh, and pretty much ever no, Brad Stover's gonna stay out. Oh, uh, hopefully this won't bite him in the butt. But uh, I have seen countless times where people have stayed out, and that's been been the sole thing to screw them over. Uh, uh, okay, uh, I think that that will go, go and cause Charles Sanford to be, uh, the new leader. Yeah, uh, Joshua Osborne's already out past him, so. 
Uh, however, it does not seem he's also on Charles Sanford is also on the lap. Uh, however, the uh, four of Joshua well Osborne is not on the lead lap. Uh, so. Um, ev now with, with that, everybody should be fueled to the end. Did I see someone smoking? Yeah. No, I didn't. Let's just find Charles, who should be easier to find this way. Said should be. Didn't say yes. What? He's not the leader. Skulltrace is actually the leader, so. Wow! That literally did s and mess up a lot of people. Oh, uh, well, that really changed. Uh, gun helped out people, and Trevor Jermaine's in the wall. Wall with help from Zachary Fitzwater. Or. Uh, uh, is that a caution? Serby says no. Uh, I have seen where that has been a caution. Uh, and I believe that was last race where that was, was indeed a caution. And so, oh uh, yeah, that, that could have been, uh, one, a key, really key factor in this race. As... Uh, and Jordan Diesel is two laps down, apparently. Uh, the cars to beat, I would say, are like Charles Samper and Kev and Kyle Matthews. Uh, however, now, uh, it looks like it's going to be be down to Zachary Fitzwater and, and Skull Tricks. However, there still is plenty of race left. If Charles Sanford can keep uh, getting good laps, he will be able to catch Zachary Fitzwar. However, he, er, if he keeps uh, skiing and down uh, with that amount, uh, he will. It will unfortunately not be enough time for uh, for him to do for him to catch up uh, like that. Um. Zachary Fitzwater is really catching skull tri tricks. He is really chasing that b with help from the lap car. car uh, JT Han Hanley seems to be really helping him out as skull tricks is not uh, has not been able to get by him really. Like seriously, I don't know what is up with the cars, but they seriously have not been able to pass really. Uh, they have not even been able to pass lap cars really easily. Uh, uh, like that is insane, and I, I never thought that I would ever see even the leaders struggling to pass lap cars. Uh, I've seen occasions where people have uh, been struggling to pass, but they've always been able to pass lap cars pretty easily. Either on the top or on the bottom. Usually on the bottom. Um, however... Oh, what? The leader did a random blow-up. Oh, my God. Skull Tricks is out. Um... Well... Uh... I don't like that the leader did a random blow-up, but... Ironically, I still say it's better than last race. As, as I, I always, always dislike seeing and um, the leader get taken out, especially by something and uh, that's out of their control like that. Uh, but I would rather see a race where that happened than the AIs just being like so freaking stupid and like crashing almost every single lap. Except for caution flag laps, in which then they're freaking controlled. So yeah, I feel sorry, sorry for you, yeah, uh, Skulltrix, but like, I, 
Unfortunately, I have to allow it. Because frankly, I would allow, I would probably allow the other one or this one. And opposed to that problem, I don't see any other reason why I should re-record this race. Last race, it was just like so terrible. Oh, uh, like, uh, and for the since probably none of you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, he had a piston blow. Since none of you guys probably know what I'm talking about, and maybe not even know what I'm talking about. Here's pretty much the breakdown of the race. A crash almost every single green flag lap. Uh, the AI's being stupid. Ed. And. Pretty, pretty much. Uh, we barely got any time. Where they were like side by side. Battling for the lead. Ed, uh, and when, they're, when they were. They were, there was pretty much a caution the next lap. Uh, so I was like, oh my god, can this race literally just end? Because literally, there's only 10 car. There was so many problems with that race. Uh, so there were so many crashes with that race. That literally, at the end, there was only 10 cars left standing. Um... It's like I was tempted to give, give the cars that were sta left standing, and and an extra, extra twenty points. And it's just because they survived that freaking race. As, uh, as, uh, it just was not a good race whatsoever. Uh, and I absolutely hated that thing for the passion. Um. In fact, mo probably more time was spent going, Okay, and the rundown is Zachary Fitzwater, Charles Sanford, Kelly Lee, Eli Bright, and blah, 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 until and just outside the top ten, ten and is whoever is 11th. Uh, like, it, it was probably more spent off of that and getting to the green flag then what was actually spent under green flag racing. Either that or, okay, so who did what this time? Because, like, it was, well, what, like, is this actually a race? I, I just really did not want to see that be an actual race for this. And so, four lap cars, Oh, sorry, three lap cars separate. Wait, is that four? No, it's three. It was three. So three lap cars separate Charles Sanford and Zachary Fitzwater. Uh, definitely those two uh, are scoring the race. Cause I don't think they did too well. Uh, in fact, I will probably post the. Like, if I remember to, I will post the actual finishing order down in the description, but I probably won't because I'll forget. Uh, so, yeah. And frankly, there was a, I also did, um, uh, like, I also asked a question. Pretty much it got to 2-2. Two, two. Uh, and then when I asked the final person if I should re-record it, they said, if I feel like it re-recording it, I should. So, pretty much that gives the final total to 4 to 2. You know, in favor of yes, which is why I'm re-recording this. Uh, mainly because I want to get ahead in videos because I do... My laptop will probably be on, like, almost... Like, I need to give my laptop some rest next week. Uh, uh, because, like, it will be on from, like, 6... Well, fi probably about 5.30 to, uh, 6 or so. Oh. Uh, 
and then a co then like uh about thirty minutes of that will be spent editing and and then playing a video that way I can show a person and and that like here's what's going to be the video for tomorrow should I change anything about it or is this good um so yeah and unfortunately as much as I would have liked to have seen a battle between Zachary Pissar and Skull Tricks, it does not look like we're going to get the battle battle this week uh on Unfortunately, uh, which that is kind of a shame because it probably would have been a great battle. Uh, I would love to have seen it, but unfortunately, I can't can't go and do uh, like I can't enter the command saying and and uh, skull tricks lead lap uh uh. Restart piston, or fix car, or whatever. Or uh, so yeah. And even still, he would then have to get out. Uh. Um. Uh, and so now I think that there's way too many lap cars between, and Charles Samper and Zachary Fitzwater to for Charles to catch up. Yeah, there's four lap cars. Like, he has a co Zachary Pissler, I think, has too bit big of a gap. Uh, so it seems like we'll have uh, four laps at Zachary Pissler. will have four victory laps in today's race. As uh, as uh, I say that there's a tiny chance that Charles can catch him. However, I think that the gap is like way too big, uh, and this track is like way too short, short for this track. Uh, well, for him to catch him at this track. Uh, well, just about as many people are lapped down, but hey, at least until the end of the race, opposed to like, oh hey, yeah, only the top. If you're are you in the top ten? It's like no. Okay, then you're out of the race. Sorry, GG. Because that's literally how it was. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Um. Uh, I can definitely say that. Uh, some people probably hate this, and then some people like it a lot. Like, Kyle Matthews, for example, I know he would like it mainly because, at least if he cares about where he finishes, because last week, I know he, well, with the last recording, I know he finished, like, 25th. These two, well, Qualls and Kev Shear, they probably would hate it because they were, like, up there. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, uh, Frankly, uh, I will give my thoughts on how on that race. Uh, frankly, uh, I actually actually say it wasn't that bad of a race. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, like I said, I would have loved to have seen seen Skull Tricks and Zachary Pissar be contending there right at the end for the lead. Lead, but hey. Uh, frankly, uh, with how good the rest of the race was, I can't really complain, especially after that. After that one, it's like, um, see the, like, looking at that and then, it's like, watch this, it's like, yeah, I have nothing to complain about for this one. That one was terrible. That one, yeah, that one, this one may have been. Even this one was just decent. It's like it's better than nothing. So yeah, uh, cause like I have not come come up with really anything for this one. 
Uh, and so, uh, yeah. Uh, this one I definitely want to turn the points. Uh, it's congrats on your fourth win and and Zachary Pitswater. Er, at least I believe that's your fourth win. And with that, I will see you guys. Okay, and I am back for the points. Now, as you guys can probably tell, there's a couple of new colors here. I forget if I, I was supposed to have marked more colors, but oh well. Oh. Uh, so, anyway. Oh. Uh, actually, yeah, probably should. Hold on, that's so like calculate something. Okay, so pretty much what I have termed it is is pretty much uh, it's like the top five people who are in like a C green are locked into the chase as in some way. Uh, the top five there's no way they'll fall out of the top ten and even if they did they all have a win and and with Kyle Matthews literally to guarantee that he will not fall out any further than what he will be he just needs like 106 points so literally he can he just has to finish the next two races and he's like this is good. I'm good to go. I don't have to race anymore. Or uh, not until, until the... Uh, I can just practice on, on the chase tracks if I want to. Uh, that's pretty much what... I kind of would do that in all honesty. I'm just racing... Uh, I'm racing my mine just because, eh? Uh, gives a little bit more competition. And Jordan, he's like a lighter green because he's like... Right there, he's practically guaranteed into the chase. However, he just needs a few more points. And the like greenish things here, it pretty much means like, yeah, they're almost guaranteed into the chase. They still could fall. Oh, uh, this one means, yeah, they're in a provisional slot, as in. They still could easily fall out. Uh, how or get screwed over uh, and not make the chase? Because literally, all that it would take for a qualls to do uh, is just like have Joshua Osborne and Jay Jefferson move in front of him, um, um, as well as like J T Hanley or something. And fall out, and he's out. Uh, he's literally on the bubble. Uh, uh, cause he's at three a seventeen, so he's pretty much like a light, light yellow, signifying, hey, he's kinda in there, but he's on a re, but he's really close to losing his provisional slot. Uh. The red down here, as you guys could probably tell, is like, nope, sorry. Unless they get the four wins, they are not running the chase. They are too far back to catch up. Uh, and then this tan color, it's like, yeah, they are pretty much out. Because literally, a, for th it still is possible. However, for the next few races... Uh, they have to pretty much get max, and then hope that tenth is like less than tw was twenty two points or more behind. Like if he's any, if he's ever, if tenth is averaging any less than twenty two points behind them for a race, they're out. Uh, so, uh, their, their race is pretty much done. They're not, it's pretty unlikely that they're going to be coming into the chase. So that's why they're tan. And so, I will see you guys, and, well, 
I'll show you guys the points for the other race. Okay, I do not mind showing like the little bit there if you guys can see anything okay. This is why I hate it so much. It's not the fact that I got crashed out. It's the fact that pretty much everybody that was contending was gone like real quickly. Uh because there's all that. And then hold on as I drag it down. There were no penalties or infractions. And yes, uh, well, compared to this race, they had a lot more lead changes. As, as this one only had five, uh, with five lead changes, this one had 14, was 11. However, 60% of this race was literally under caution. And, like, it was an insane amount. Uh, like, they pr they had at least three cautions. And it's within the first 20 freaking laps. It's like, can you guys even run green? Like, seriously. And notice, the AI strength is at, like, 110. Hence why I lessened it from my normal being that to 90 because uh, just like I really did not want to see see this go up on YouTube uh, and I I may have of uh, the first five minutes down there and you guys may uh, just in the first five minutes due to how many wrecks you guys will probably see at least two and we'll probably be past lap, lap 30. Uh, or we'll probably be past, uh, like, around lap, t uh, like, probably around, around lap 11 or so. Because I just upload uh, the first 10 minutes, uh, sorry, the first 5 minutes of racing. I did the startup like this time. And hold on, I'll sh go back to the points. So for the ones that wanted to see it, there, there you go. There's where you finished last time compared to this. Uh, cause like now you guys probably understand why I say it was a god awful race. Like I just did not like that race whatsoever. Er, uh, that race. Yeah, it deserved. This race deserved to be re-recorded. And I don't really re-record a lot of stuff. This is the only time I've actually had a second attempt at a track. Uh, at least this season. Maybe the entire time. Because um, I, know, I know it's not the first time. Because I did two attempts at Atlanta. Oh... Uh, which, yeah, it's like, okay, ha here's a half hour, here's a, a half hour late, well, here's a race, half hour later, here's the other attempt. You guys can vote on which ones. It's like, nobody voted, and I like the second attempt better, so I just went with, so I just said, okay, second attempt, you're up, up, I got, you're it, uh, I'm, I'm gonna run with you. I didn't even enter in the other one because it was like, yeah, that was bad. And plus, if I entered in the other points and forgot to take them out, it's like, well, shoot. I do not remember. Or, though I guess I have the freaking and other points, but well. Uh, anyway, I think that that's been enough. Uh, you guys have seen where you are. You guys saw pretty much where you finished in the last race compared to this race. Uh, so as well as pretty much you guys get infer at least get to inferring about how bad the last race was. Uh, and so I guess please like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the race. Also, follow me on Twitter if you guys want uh, to be a part of any multiplayer recordings I may do. Oh. 
Uh, also, click the bell if you want to be notified about any future uploads. And with that, I will see you guys next time.